ago. A lone explorer named Arnie Sacknusson made a fantastic descent of the fabled lost kingdom of Atlantis at the Earth's core. After many centuries, his trail was discovered. First by me, Professor Oliver Lindenbrook, my niece Cindy, student Alec McEwen, our guide Lars, and his duck Gertrude. But we were not alone. The evil Count Sacknusson, last descendant of the once noble Sacknusson family, had followed us to claim the center of the Earth for his power mad schemes. He ordered his brute-like servant, Tor, to destroy our party. But the plan backfired, sealing the entrance forever. And so for us began a desperate race to the Earth's core to learn the secret of the way back. This is the story of our new journey to the center of the Earth. He's asking for our help. 
does look almost human. The poor thing. I'm going down there. Easy, fella, easy. Uncle Oliver, be careful. Come back! Lars, kill monster! No, Lars, wait. That's it, fella. Nothing to be afraid of. Now, let's take a look at that thorn. Hold still. It'll only take a minute. It's out. The poor thing. It's almost human. It is human, Alec. Not in the sense we know, but human enough to understand. That's okay, fella. We'll leave the thorn ladder right here. Look like Lars don't need rock anymore. Our man beast friend can climb out when he gets his strength back. New friend, not only monster in fine jungle. Look! This trail holds many dangers. We'd better get going. We've got a lot of catching up to do. To catch up to Count Sacknosen, we will have to fly now like Gertrude. Wait, wait. We are going to fly. Over the rushing waters of that underground gorge on a vine raft. Gort was moving same direction as Trayer, but at 90 miles an hour. Anyone want to back out? Gertrude, not you. No, no, Gertrude brave and foolish like the rest of us. She only say if raft turned over, she glad she's a duck. <laughs> <laughs> Stay together. Gertrude! There is Gertrude! I thought you had her. I did, but now she's not here. Gertrude! Gertrude! Oh, oh. Come, come from up there. Wow! There she is. Yes. What is Duck doing in crow's nest? Stupid bird. She's not so stupid. If there were room enough in that crow's nest, I'd join her myself. When does this end? We can't hang on much longer. Lock arms. We're headed for a big one. When Professor say flying, he means flying. There, Alec. See what she's found. <laughs> she's found an island dead ahead. Good. Come on down. Bring Gertrude. And please do not use that bird dead. Straight ahead, then. We're nearly there. Any nice, friendly monsters on island? No, it's small and deserted. Good. Oh, safe at last. We can use rest. You can say that again. If I have to face another monster, I'll scream. Hold on! Yeah, he'll be born again! Here comes Gertrude! A suicide dive! Right on target! Didn't hurt it at all! Cindy! Alex! Professor! Is that you? <laughs> Cindy, where are you? Here, Alex! Here comes Lars! Where is Uncle Oliver? Here is Professor's rope! I pull him in! Crow of Monster cut Professor loose! There he is! Look! Over here! <laughs> and there's Gertrude! What happened to the sea monster? Something scared of me. I'll bet it was Gertrude. No, not Gertrude. Look, Professor, above you, look out. Too late. He's caught him. <laughs> He's trapped in the giant's cage. And we are helpless. 
to save him. We must do something. <laughs>
Forgot about him. He still wants a fight. Let's give him one. Together. Oh, what are you doing? I'm your friend. What's happening in there? Just say, look, he's moving to that large rock. Check new Simard. Pointing south. That's our new direction to the center of the earth. Through the valley of volcanoes. Maybe he'll come along. Show us the way. <laughs> Oh! Oh! Ah. I'm afraid not. He looks frightened. A powerful man beast be frightened. Can you imagine what danger waits for us? Imagination is sometimes worse than the real thing. Well, there's only one way to find out. Right. Let's go. Yes. And thank you. <laughs> <laughs> At last, free of that fine jungle. Oh, it was worth the effort, Toy. It points the way to a city of gold. And look there. My uncle's mark, pointing south. Yes, but look what it is pointing to. Oh, <laughs> 